as Nelda likes to say, sometimes all it takes is a spark. Uh, one of the schools that did the Let Grow project, and I have to just explain quickly that yes. the Let Grow project, yeah, which is free, it's um, a school um, initiative. Any school can do it. doesn't cost any money for all the materials. Um, there aren't even that many materials. Basically, it's a homework project that the teachers give the kids to go home and do something on their own. You can make dinner. You can ride your bike. You can go to the store. You can get yourself to the bus stop. Just something that you feel ready to do, that your parents agree that you can do because it's for the project. And if everybody's doing a project, the parent doesn't feel like they're the only one. Um, and then they do it. And then that just changes everything. The parents are so proud. The kid becomes proud. I can't tell you one cool story about a kid who decided to bake an independence cake for her project. And she said that walking to the store was terrifying because she'd always been with an adult. And she said that everybody that she looked at looked angry and she thought they were going to snatch her. I mean, cause oh, that's wow. all you've been told, you know, be careful. It's dangerous out there or whatever. Um, and then she bought all the ingredients and she paid for it with her own money because she, you know, it was her allowance money because she wanted to be independent. Um, and then on her way home, she said, everybody looked different. And, you know, I don't think the whole world changed in the half an hour that it took her to shop for the ingredients. What changed was her. Just this little bit of independence and being out in the world without an adult and realizing like, I belong here too. I can handle it. It's not, it's not so terrible. I've made it to the store. Coming home, she said, was when she wrote a little essay about it, she said it was more pleasant because I was already used to the walk. And that's what we've deprived kids of. And mm. I know what I wanted to tell you was that in one school that was doing the Let Grow project with seventh graders, pretty old, you know, we're talking 12 and 13 year yes. old kids. Um, the teacher had them write out what, what they were worried about doing that they hadn't done yet that they might want to try. And there were kids who would say like, um, I've never, you know, I, I'm scared to go into a store alone with, cause I've always been with my mom and they're filled with strangers. So already this is like store as normal place to be has been replaced with like den of thieves, scary place. And there were kids who had uh, kids who wanted to walk the dog, but they were afraid because what if the dog ran into the street or what if I lost control? Everything was seen through this very negative lens of what if I goof up? What if I, what if I'm not good enough? Which is exactly what anxiety is. But there were so many kids and this is the, the peanut butter story 15 minutes later, um, is that a bunch of kids had never used a sharp knife. Right. Mm. That's it. Um, how would you not be depressed if you felt like everything was too much for you, was going to hurt you, that only your parents were competent? Actually, one of the kids wrote that. He said when he did finally use a, a sharp knife, he said he felt great because he was finally competent at one of the things his parents could do. You know, if wow. if you think that, yeah, like, I mean, if the, if the, if the basic drive in children you know, throughout centuries, throughout eternity, perhaps, has been to grow up and be big and be successful and, you know, be able to become part of the world. And that has been thwarted to the point where you start thinking like, I can't do it. Only my parents can. It's too much. It's too dangerous. I might get hurt. Who wouldn't feel depressed? I'd, I'd be depressed. 